we're looking for the peak temperature in July in Antarctica, in Fahrenheit. And this apparently is a Gaussian random variable. And we're given the variance and also the fact that the probability of one half that is greater than minus 75. So variance is 225. That's a square number. The standard deviation is 15. Probability of one half that temperatures is greater than minus 75. That tells us the mean. Because half the probability lies on the right or the left. It's symmetric. So now we need to find a probability that t is greater than zero. So we can use the big phi, the standardized cumulative Gaussian function. So zero, then we have to normalize it by subtracting the mean. So minus 75 minus minus 75 becomes plus 75. And then divide by the standard deviation. So the answer to the first part, probability that a temperature is greater than zero is just phi of five, which is very, very small. And then how about the second part, the probability the temperature is less than minus 100? Well, that we can just use inverse probability complements. So, 1 minus minus 100 plus 75 over 15, which is 1 minus uh, 5, 25 over 15. And this number is also pretty small, but it is not as small as the other number. So if you want an approximation, it's actually, this one's around 4.78% uh, of the time, while this is around uh, something around 10 to the minus 7. So it doesn't get very warm, but it can get very cold in Antarctica in July.